Okay, we're going to make some teeth here to our puppets. Get a little break from what the other things we were doing. You could just use, these are vampire teeth, um, pumpkin teeth. You can certainly use those on your puppet. It would be kind of large for him, but you could use these. Um, I'm going to show you a couple other ways real quick. What I'm about to show you is something I learned from Barry Gortner, so I can't take any credit for this. I have some craft foam. It's craft foam. And this is, like I said, this is something I learned from Barry. So all credit for this comes to Barry. Goes to Barry. And I think he gave credit to someone else. I'm not sure. This is my Gorilla Spray Adhesive. Just going to spray my foam lightly. I'm using two red and one white. See if I can do this without blowing these all, all over the table. And as sure as I can. Sticky. Sticky. Take this off screen for a minute. Oh! Okay. That's the one danger when using a hair dryer with stuff that doesn't weigh much. Because <laughs> it will blow around. But I am a puppet maker, not a hair dryer. Then I'm actually going to spray a little more. Cut out my teeth. I drew, I drew some teeth earlier. They're nothing fancy. Give us some of that blue there.
not done here by using three layers of foam. I got a nice thick edge. So I put this on the puppet in the puppet's mouth. I got lots of room to glue with. Put that right up in there. Now, there's a couple things you could do with this. One, you could take your marker and draw the teeth. But what I am going to do is get my razor blade. I'm actually going to where's the middle? Cut little grooves. I cut only through the white. Don't get don't cut through the red. You notice know, so that's bent. You'll notice here when that's bent, get that little bit of red in there. Trying to get a little more a split there. Made a slight V. It's not want to come out too easy. Is it just through the red? I mean, through to the red. Don't cut through the red. Through the white, just to the red. Well, done now. I put a big space here on that one side. But you'll notice when I give them a bend, suddenly you have teeth. So I'll be able to put them in that mouth. With that bend, I actually have teeth. This head, I left that deep, deep mouth. I'm showing, okay, I'm going to get these tacked in here. Here I have the teeth tacked in. That slight bend, you can see the teeth. Just that little bend exposes. This isn't quite centered, but when I shut this puppet mouth, you notice the teeth completely disappear, which is what I was looking to do with this one. So those teeth completely disappear. Take those out. Just put those in for show to show you what we're going to do with it. And you can always trim these teeth. Maybe take just a little bit of the red off that bottom back edge. Not much. But that three layers of foam gives you lots of foam. Using that craft foam to glue it up top. Here's my other set. I do the same thing. Get right down the middle here. Again, I got a nice set of teeth. When I bend them, boom. Where's that camera? There it is. So there's that little bend. I got the space between the teeth. Those look good. If I had the whole edge of glue, that's that's one great way to make teeth. A gallon from Barry Gardner. So I don't say, hey, Dennis Fregling does this. Well, he does do it, but I didn't invent it. Okay, if I want to make maybe another type of teeth, this is teeth, this is EVA foam, it's a quarter inch, 
And you'll notice, put that in there, it looks like teeth. What I can do, find that center. Cut down a ways. Then I'm going to angle in. And you'll hopefully see, got that nice little V in there. Now you can make this as long as you want. I'll cut all the way down here. Just quarter inch EVA foam. You can find a link on the resources page at www.puppetbuilders.com. take bottom I'm just cutting with my razor blade trying to get the size I want there we go Here I'm just making a couple of little buck teeth. Um, so you could make a whole row of teeth. You could make single teeth. This will come up in here. And just that V, you can kind of see the separation of the teeth. You may want to take a little pink or red marker and shade that a little bit. You may not. That's absolutely necessary. You can continue to shape these if you'd like. Maybe round this edge off a little bit here. I'll have absolutely square teeth there at the bottom. So let's just round those a little bit. Of course, you can make fangs or anything else. Again, with this guy, they would sink into the mouth because I made that deep well. So there's some ways to make teeth. I hope that helps.